Hey, Tom Rabbit, I hope you got this for your recording. Hey, YouTube out there, Tom Rabbit likes to record these. Hey, Tom Rabbit. Hello, Mr. Tom Rabbit. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to, nice to, uh, nice to meet you as well. I have um, known of you for some time. Uh, how so? Um, through your videos, actually. I, um, uh, I was introduced into this whole community, actually, through your videos. So I guess I owe you a degree of gratitude. Well, you're welcome. You're I, very uh, welcome. I must compliment you on the structure and, uh, you know, the certain, certain um, effects that you put on there. It's very entertaining. I think you've done a great job with it. Thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Now... Now that the niceties are put away, okay, I, I, I'm sure we're going to have a lot of disagreement. Um, I, w I would like to say, first off, I was not expecting to do this right now, just because I do have to get to bed shortly. I have to be up early tomorrow, but I'm hoping that, you know, at least we can have a bit of an introduction and see, um, you know, where we differ and uh, perhaps come to um, have another conversation at a later date. Okay. Can I ask you some... Uh... A little bit of background information about you. Um, I'm pretty much an open book. So go okay. Ahead. So um, I know of you because I've heard you um, talking in the various Darth rooms, whether it be you know Theist Experience or Atheist Helpline or something. Now, um, are you like a Darth convert? I'm a Christian, Tom. Okay. Okay, I admire Darth to a certain degree. Um, he, I would I would give him credit as being one of my mentors, especially in the apologia space that I'm focusing on now. Um, I by no means I, I will let you know that I'm a grown man. I'm almost thirty years old, so I'm not like some little kid looking for, you know, looking to copy someone because I don't have my own personality established yet. Okay. Um, I, I do admire a lot. I think Darth is, um, is is great at what he does, and there's a lot to learn from him. Um, he's not perfect, of course, as none of us are. But um, but but you know, um, yeah, that's that's my spiel on Darth. Okay, I mean, uh, I don't think you really answered the question, but I don't think it's really that like too personal. If it is, you can tell me. But I was just asking you if, like, Darth converted you or convinced you, whatever you want to call to it. To Christianity? Yep. No, I've been a Christian my whole life. You've been a Christian your whole life. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm sorry. Gotcha. I didn't understand your question. Yeah, every once in a while, someone will say that Darth convinced them. Um, and then when we kind of ask them about it, it's kind of, they change. Mm -hmm. Well, I won't go into that. It's not really important. But um, that's interesting. So um, were you a presuppositionalist before you became a, a Darth? Well, one of the congregation, Darth whatever you want to call it. It's, you know what? I will accept the phraseology um, Darth Minion, if you'd like. Okay, with pride. That appeases you. <clears throat> now, you remind yeah. me of a previous Darth Minion um, by the name of J. Robin. I J. See a lot, Robin. What happened to J. Robin? I see a lot of J. Robin in you. He's changed. He's reformed himself. You know what? I'll tell you what happened to Jay Robin. Jay Robin came to me and uh, others in this room, and he decided after reflecting on the way he acted that maybe there was a better way to do it. And he basically decided that he was going to go moving forward without doing things the Darth way. Where is he now? He's out living life. He doesn't debate anymore? Well, not. I, I don't know exactly what he's doing. I mean, I, I can't tell you he's not debating somewhere, but he told he me. Numerous, numerous people apologies. Yeah, he gave numerous he people bad. apologies, and he expressed that um, he. Uh, Looking back on the whole Darth type thing, it's not really Christian. It's not what he wants to be doing. 
Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I think that there are fair criticisms that can be, you know, levied toward, toward us all. Um, I, I totally understand what you're saying. But look, I, I mean, I can't be the one to point the finger. I lose my temper as well. I mean, Tom, you have to understand that from our position, okay, it, it, it's the, the, the rebuttals that we get from atheists are, are pathetic. I mean, they're not even anywhere close to a justified rationale of their worldview. It's just not even close. And they and they constantly come in and troll us. They constantly come in and waste our time. You know, we had um we we had Sonny. Do you know Sonny? No. Okay, well, he seems to know you because he stole your argument that you use with the rock god. The rock god. Um, I don't have a rock god argument. I thought you were the originator of the whole transcendental rock and I have a rock and it has these properties and what's the contradiction? No, that's not you. I was no. told that was you. You never made okay, that well, argument. I apologize. But um yeah, so he came to us with that. It's just, you know, it's it's just it it's frustrating. You know, and and what frustrates me to, frustrates me the most is, you know, I've had conversations with people and I'm hoping I I have um you know, I, I have a good feeling that with you, we will have this type of conversation, but I rarely have conversations where, you know, we just come to a fundamental disagreement and they have, you know, their points and at least they've answered my questions and maybe they have things to think about. Maybe I have things to think about, but it's never that. Okay. I asked as an example, and, and we can get into our, our debate. Um, I don't want to um, get off topic too much, but as an example, I asked, a, I asked an atheist today. Um, can you, can you do science without your five senses? Tom, do you think he gave me a yes or no answer to that? I don't know. No, of course. Well, the answer is no, of course not. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Why are you asking and, atheists? And, Why not ask scientists like a hang, neuroscientist? Hang on, hang on a second, Randolph. This is, uh, this is kind of a one-on-one -on -one at the moment. I came oh, in here. Sorry about that. I apologize. You know, and, and, and this is not to win the argument, you know, it's just, I'm just trying to lay some groundwork so I can make a point. That's it. And and they constantly do this. So it's very frustrating. You have to understand that. And and maybe you're more of a patient man than me. Okay. I have, you know, a certain background in, in the military and I'm a typically, you know, I'm a, you know, person that is constantly in the gym and I'm a little bit more aggressive. I've been trained in combat. So I have a little bit more of aggressive personality. So, you know, but but I don't think it's it's right for you guys to to point the finger, especially from a worldview where you can't rationally justify your your morals or 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 rationally justify any judgment from your worldview. I mean, I think a lot of the problem comes from um, the way Darth sort of uh, plays out the conversation. Right. So, um I know for a fact that he's um, intending to be kind of ambiguous because he wants to get the gotcha. So how many times have you seen Darth say, God does not exist because, and they, they almost, and if you've been around long enough, you should be able to, to have observed this for yourself. I've asked the they, question they, myself, huh? They and and how do they usually respond? They usually respond like, "Well, there's no evidence for God" or something like uh, that, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, and then and then and then Darth comes right back. He takes a big breath and leans back in his chair, all satisfied, and he says, "Uh, uh, uh, that's a non sequitur, right?" Well, so Tom, that's that's a ridiculous argument. No, 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 that's no, no. no. But here, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. But it's clear that the person is interpreting that question in a way where it's, tell me why you don't believe in God, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Darth knows that because he's done it hundreds, if not thousands of times, and they always answer like that. But we know, you know, and I know what he actually is trying to ask them is, hey, you give me what a reason, you justify why it's impossible for God to exist. And if he came out with that right off the rip, you and I both know that that percentage and how they would answer that question would probably change, change drastically. But after thousands of times of doing it, the question has not changed at all, 
even though it's quite clear that there is some shortcomings with regards to clarity and asking and the meaning of the question, correct? Um, I understand what you're saying, Tom, but I'll you let you agree finish. with that, though. Well, yes, to the um, question. Do you agree with that? Um, no. I think that I could ask, ask the question and where I would get much more hits on them understanding me. You don't think I could? Like, how about if I said like um, this? Um, how, how about if I said it like this, right, Case? Okay, so imagine this. Mm -hmm. New person said, comes into the room, and instead of saying, okay, God does not exist because, how about this? How about, how about, it? let me give you what I would do, right? If I were interested in, in, in not having them misunderstand what I was asking for, I might say something like this. I was like, okay. Well, do you think you could make you could make an argument um, as to how it is the case that God couldn't exist, meaning that it's impossible for a God to exist, and a God by by what I mean by a God is just an eternal mind. Keep in mind, person that I'm talking to, right? Keep in mind, new guy, that I'm not asking for like your personal justifications or reasons, I'm trying to ask you why it is the case that it is impossible for a God to exist. Do you think if I worded it that way, that I would have any better luck on them understanding and they wouldn't 95% of the time say, well, there's no evidence for it? Um, no, because these people are dishonest and God, they don't okay. want to be convinced gotcha. of anything. But, okay. but look, but Tom, Tom, I, I, I can appreciate well, then what's, your criticism. What's the point of well, in the well, entire endeavor in the well, first place then? Well, well, look, Tom, I can appreciate your criticism. And yes, the question could be asked more specifically. Okay. But for some people that, that the way that you frame that, it would, it would just be as muddy as if I asked them a very simple question. Because a lot of these people that we talk to that would answer like that, they obviously have a, they obviously don't have that much experience in this space. So if I go into all of that, I mean, it's just too much to unpack. It's better to, to unpack it um, one by one. I think the argue, argument can be made. No. But again, I understand your criticism. I, I, it's yes, unpacking. You, your, your, your approach is more specific. Yes, I would agree. Unpacking leads to clarity. Are you yeah. opposed to clarity? Yeah, but it takes, it takes a few questions to get there. Oh, okay. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm not opposed to clarity. No, I'm sorry. I okay, you're not opposed Tom, to clarity. But here's the thing. Do you think that there's any, do you, let me just ask you this and then I'll let you go, right? This, mm -hmm. Do you think Darth gets any satisfaction when he says, that's a non sequitur, Mr. Atheist? Do you think he gets well, any satisfaction? I, yeah, I, I think that's they why he asks it like that, though, don't you? But Tom, why do we do this? Do you think we do this because it's not a little bit of it is enjoyment? I mean, you, you can you say you don't get enjoyment out of debating people? I mean, I do. there's some there's some fun to it and maybe that's not you know so morally righteous right but i mean i don't know i think that that's reasonable but yeah anyway, but you're saying that is he's, he's not okay look he might enjoy the debating but you're denying that he, he's asking this question in a certain way to sort of like keep it I, a little bit I, ambiguous so he gets to spring the trap i i will say honestly tom I, that that thought has never crossed my mind i'm not saying you're wrong i never came to that conclusion on my own um it doesn't. It didn't. It didn't appear that way to me. But I mean, it could be. I don't know. But well, you my know, opinion, no, I don't think. Okay. That he's doing well, you that, know like, what I say to a lot of Christians when I have disagreements about intuitions like this. You know what I mm -hmm. usually tell Christians? I say, let's test it. And very, very rarely will they ever take me up on it. But we can what talk do you about mean by that. Well, we could just go into a room. And you could ask the next atheist that comes in your way, and then I could ask my way. And we could do that a hundred times if, if we needed to, to get the most data we wanted to. And then we could yeah. compare, right? But Christians never seem to be interested in testing it. But that's, look, we're not going to do that tonight. Yeah. Um, so. Well, well, look, Tom, I, well, well um, you know, I would, I would prefer that we don't talk about someone that's not here. Um, as much as I enjoy talking about Darth, because he's quite the uh, the enigma. But I, I'm really here curious about your views. Um, I've never met you. I've never spoken to you. I, I don't want to go based on hearsay. So I, I just would start if, if I could just ask you a few questions. And I am open if you want to ask me. I'm, you know, in that way, I think that I'm different from Darth. I'm not going to just like ramroad you because I'm very confident in, in my 
um, undeniable um, uh, proof or, or argument behind the the unfalsifiability of, of the Christian God. So I, I don't mind. You can ask me any question you want. Um, so, oh, so I Tom, would start so, with. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> well, well, allow me to allow me to start if I may. Um, so you are. What do you consider yourself? Are you an atheist? Um, I would say an agnostic. In the dark sphere, you would just call me an atheist. But well, I am a non-believer, and um, I believe that the Christian God is false. Okay. Well, I don't. I have, and, and maybe we don't get too into the weeds about this, but I don't think the word atheism has any utility. Um, I don't think you could possibly, and just to your point, like you were making before, you couldn't possibly have have concrete 100 percent ontological knowledge of god's existence you just couldn't have that as a human being you'd have because god by definition is not is not bound by time space and matter so Here. you would have to be outside of that i thought you were knowledge of god that doesn't follow hang, hang on a sec I, this yeah, is just wrong this is supposed to be uh somewhat of yeah, a one-on-one -on -one, so like please keep the interruptions to a minimum um so I thought you were a presuppositionalist, though. I am, but I, but again, I'm my own person. I don't. I mean, I would appreciate if you didn't pigeonhole me into like, oh, he's a Darth fanboy or he's a presuppositionalist. Like, I'm just my own person. Do I adhere to presuppositional um, apologetics? And yes. Um, do I admire people like Doctor, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, Ben? Uh, what's his freaking name? Uh, Greg Bonson. Bonson. Okay. Yes, I do. I'm reading through one of his books right now. I do. I do agree with a lot of things he yeah, says. Yeah, it's all fine. But um, what I'm what I'm meaning yeah. by that is, most precepts say refer to Romans and say that um, everyone knows that God exists. And you're just seemingly telling me that it's not possible to know God exists. No, no. I'm no. I'm saying it's not. No, Tom. Atheism does not affirm that God exists. Atheism. Atheism does, does the opposite. It affirms that God does not exist. So what I'm saying is I don't think atheism, the term atheism, has any utility because you couldn't possibly know if God didn't exist. We know God exists, but we couldn't possibly know if he – if an atheist couldn't possibly be able to assert and justify that God did not exist. And you would agree with that. That's why you're agnostic. You say, well, I don't know for sure if God doesn't exist, but I'm also not totally convinced that he does or doesn't, right? Well, I you mean, lean more so that he doesn't. You lean more to that side. Look, I I told you by your lights, I'm an atheist, not an agnostic. Right? No, because I just explained my lights. In order to be an atheist and by my lights, you would have to have ontological knowledge that God didn't exist or some kind of logical justification or rational justification that God doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, so what's your rational justification that that God does not exist? Ontologically, go ahead. Uh, let's see. Premise one: either the Christian God exists or no God exists. Do you accept that? Okay, I'm not. I'm. I, this is the first time anyone's ever approaching with a syllogism, so I'm not very good with them. I'll be honest. But so, what, what was your first premise? Either the Christian God exists or no God exists. Okay. Do you accept that? Yeah. Okay, cool. So now in order to, just just to be clear, now in order to uh, support global atheism, I only need to falsify the Christian God. It's gone from like infinity to one, right? Yeah, you'd have to falsify the Christian God. How do you, how do you, and, and just to be that? clear, once I falsify the Christian God, if I can do that, God, theism is proof false. Yeah, there is there no is God. No, yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Under your concept of God, um, God is um, logically necessary for uh, knowledge slash intelligibility, blah, blah, blah. And God is not logically necessary for those things. Therefore, God does not exist. God is not. How, how have you determined that God is not logically necessary to fundamentally ground logic? Because your God has a specific attribute set, which is um, essential. These properties are not ac these are not accidental properties. Properties like being triune, properties like being omnipotent, omnibenevolent, omniscient, 
omnipresent, all powerful. Um, all well, I already said um, I already said mm-hmm. omnipotent, um, always truth revealing, etc. Those are all necessary mm-hmm. properties, correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, and so that means that if one of those properties was taken away, um, you couldn't have intelligibility or knowledge yeah, or an that's electron. That's a contradiction of the Christian worldview. Like they couldn't be taken away. Yeah, but you're just saying that by definition. So I'm just saying, like, let's do, let's analyze the concept that, um, you know, uh, God Sexual or whatever. Analysis. Yeah, let's just analyze. Please don't to a conceptual analysis. That's that's colossally stupid. No, it's not. But okay, so if okay. if um, let's just say that this I still God. I haven't heard a defeater for the Christian God. I'm like, I'm yeah, I'm, hold on a second. I'm getting there, dude. So let's just say that this God that I'm proposing could uh, lie. Not even that he does lie. He just could lie. And um, intelligibility also exists. Now, there's no contradiction there. And under your view, there has to be a contradiction, but there is no contradiction. Therefore, it's possible but for this God other... that couldn't exist by my lights. That God couldn't exist. Not on a logical grounds. Real. Yeah, what's the logical now, grounds? Because there's only one God, and it's the Christian God, and he's always truth-telling. So you couldn't have a God <laughs> that, is, that is a liar because that God would be false. If a, Look, and especially, and this is like the Muslim God, this is like Allah. The, the, Allah cannot be the fundamental ultimate grounding of, of reality because he, he admits to being a, the greatest deceiver. So if you can't trust everything that God says and anything that he states in his revelation could be um, necessarily falsifiable. You mean right? False. Well, it could be falsifiable. It, it's it's it's, well, it's not necessarily it's falsifiable. To be it could be false. It's, it's able to be falsifiable. I don't I don't know if that's what you want to say, but I'm not talking about the Muslim God. I'm talking, so you're about, talking about a God you're making up. That's right. Yeah. And this God has okay, all but that. The, but that's contradictory to my worldview. So I don't understand how that falsifies. The Christian that's God. not a, that's not a problem. Yeah. So. You're saying that here's my God and here's the property that said I have of this God. And unless it's like this, it has to be have all these properties. And unless yeah, it does, the Christian, hold on a second, case on, hold on. Now you're now you're starting to interrupt me, right? And I've been really nice to you. I've been really nice to you. I'm just asking you finish. Let me finish, okay? Is that okay? Tom, um, you haven't let me talk since we started. You've been trying to control this whole conversation. And I'm, you, and you I'm still pres- haven't given me... I'm presenting an argument to you at your own request. Okay, but I'm still not hearing it. This is like, like what, what is the falsifier? You I'm explaining. I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to, okay, to you. So go ahead. So you have a concept of God. It has X and, A through Z necessary properties. And you're saying if it doesn't have any of these properties, then it's impossible to have intelligibility and to have knowledge. No. What? I'm I'm saying if it doesn't have any of those properties, it's not the Christian God. Well, which, duh. Which would yeah, which would result in the God not being real because there is only one God. And it's the it's the Christian God, and any rejection of the Christian God would result in a reductio uh, reductio uh, would re- result in a, uh, in absurdity. Your worldview would be absurd. Yeah, but your concept of God. Ad absurdum. Sorry, look, I'm you're sorry. just defining it to be real, mm-hmm. right? You can say that all you want. But well, you can't. You you're not going to be able to define your God into existence. You're going to have to actually what show ground, that. What, so, so is that a truth claim? That's a claim about um, conventions of dialogue such as this. Yeah, is that a truth claim? Yeah. It doesn't answer my question. Okay. Um, how do you How do you know truth? All right. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Let me finish my argument. <laughs> Listen. So. You're not going to engage. Jesus now? Christ. I've answered every single one of your questions. So you're just not going to engage with how you can know truth. Look, I, we can get to that. I'm, I'm presenting you an argument. This is what you well, wanted, you right? Not, oh, okay. I thought you were done. No, no. I, I thought you, you said about the attributes thing and I told you you were wrong and I thought we were, I thought it was my turn, but okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but I'm exactly. Waiting. What do you mean? I'm wrong. What am I wrong about? You're wrong because you were saying that, um, I, I, what I told you was if it doesn't, if the God you're purporting or you're proposing, okay, same difference, does not have the attributes that are assigned to the Christian God, then the God is necessarily falsified because it's, it, it, w- it would not have the characteristic necessary to ground your metaphysic. 
the Christian God's God's characteristics are exclusive to him. Right. And if you say that I have this God and he has all the characteristics of the Christian God, well, then he's just the Christian God. That's op that's the opposite of what I said. Yeah. You said you said my God has a different characteristic from the Christian God. Yeah. Just okay, well, one. No just a sing. Just. Yep. Exactly. He is no then, longer. Okay, so, so he is then, absolutely so then, not the Christian God. Okay, and with so this then, God. So now you don't live in the Christian world anymore. You live in your God world. So now you're going to have to justify how your God world exists, how you know truth. Now, look, like, look we're is, doing an this analysis this of this concept, right? So under your view, it is the case that if this God who has all the Christian God characteristics, except for always being truth revealing, yep, this, this, this concept, right? We are, that's already established. You don't have to say that again. This God can lie. I didn't even say he does. Maybe he doesn't even lie. It's just that he has the ability to. Now, under your yeah. view, it is logically impossible for this God and intelligibility to exist at the same time. That God, no, that, no. What, what I'm saying is that God would not allow you to assert facts. It wouldn't allow you to make truth claims because anything you know could be a lie. That's so just how an, can you know truth? <laughs> that's just an appeal to consequences, case on. Tom, stop this. If your God can lie to you, how do you know the sky's blue? Just an appeal to consequences. What does that mean, Tom? It means that this is false because I don't like the con the, the consequence Tom, of it. Stop it, dude. Stop. Let's have a good conversation. Stop. Stop doing. I'm this. not the bottleneck here, Kason. Don't have Kason. to do this. I'm not the bottleneck. I'm saying here. if your God. That's this a is very simple. That you're hey, at Bill, out. hang on, Bill. God, hang on. If your God can lie, right? Mm hmm. Okay. What I'm saying is. I can know things because my God can't lie. So when my God tells me that I can trust my senses and the worlds have been made clear to me, when I look at the blue sky, I know it's blue, right? With, you know, obviously, unless I have some kind of mental deficiency, but if I'm, if I'm a <laughs> normal human being, right, I know the sky's blue. What, you, what you're saying is my God can lie. If he can lie, then that means that whatever you're seeing, whatever you're perceiving could be a lie. Right. So you could potentially be a brain in a vat because God's not guaranteeing you that you're not. My God guarantees me I'm not. Yeah. You just haven't falsified the God. You've just said, I don't like the idea of being a brain in a vat. That's, I don't like the idea um, of not being told a lie. That's not um, falsification. That's not case what I, I said. In order to ground your reality and state truth claims, you have to know certain things about your world that are that are 100 percent true right you have to know certain things in order to make and now claims. you're just making an epistemic objection which is irrelevant to the ontological issue that we're discussing epistemics and, onto and ontology are, are are connected what do you mean it's it's not two different things your objection is about knowing and what i'm talking about is a is being you wouldn't know what you are if your god can lie to you your God could tell you you're a human and you're really a duck. That doesn't mean that God is false. It means that that God can't ground your metaphysic. Who it's cares? Or anything. So that means that you can't object to my Christian God because your mental capacity, your mental faculties could be compromised. And would that but mean that logic, and would met in so whatever logic? Hold on, let me finish. So whatever logic you're using to try to create this scenario where you're where you're fighting back against my God could necessarily be completely arbitrary. Okay. It could just be a it could you just tell be me when you're done. I'm done. Okay. I heard everything you said. I let you finish. And now I just have one question. Let's say, yes, it's the case that if that God were real, he could be lying to me. If that God is the case, yes, I could be a brain in a vat. All the objections that you made, right? Let's say that those are all granted. Does that mean necessarily that God is false? Yes or no? Yes. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. Yes, Kesa. because it's, yes, no. because because you are now living in that world. Once you affirm that world, right? You can't. You're not going to play this game where you're like, oh, I'm just talking about this God, but I'm not deriving my 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 worldview on that God. No, no. If you're going to talk about that God, then you have to you have to go full sail. It's your world versus my world, full, holy, holistically. Okay. So if that's your God. When you are saying this specific thing about your God is not true, okay, what you're saying is, is unjustified. You're making a, a truth claim that's not justifiable because your whole worldview could be false. And that wouldn't make that God false. 
it wouldn't allow you to object to the Christian God. And the Christian God, in, in the Christian God worldview, Who you, cares? there can only be one God. So that necessarily contradicts your statement. Who cares? Um, at this well, point, logic cares, at, reason cares. So <laughs> no, I don't you're know not. You care about that, but at this at this point, yeah. um, I'll let anybody else make a comment or something right, like well, that. Well, look, I gotta go yeah, to bed. Tom, Tom, here. Tom, 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 let, yeah, no, I told you before. I before I got on, I said, look, I, I'm not. I didn't know we were doing this tonight. How about how about this? Tom, um, Tom? Field field a few questions, then you can have the last word, and we'll let you yeah, go to bed. Well, look, let me, let me hold on a sec. Hold on, hold on a sec. Is that okay? okay? Hold on, hold on a second. I would okay. I, I I would love to do this again. Any other time, I'm on Discord every day. Um, I can give you another five to ten minutes. Sure, go ahead. Okay, just be. But I'm, I'm not hold on a second. Let me weeds, let so. me set the stage for you, Kason. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, please. People that address Kason, you have to be fucking nice. And if you're not fucking nice, then I'm gonna moot your fucking ass. Okay, I go appreciate ahead. Appreciate that. Sounds reasonable. All right, Kason. Um, mm -hmm. So we heard about these two different worldviews, one that Tom presented and one that you presented. And you think that it's only in one of those two worldviews that you could have um, access truth. to the truth. Okay. Yes. Well, suppose that the worldview that Tom presented uh, was real. Imagine that that were the case. Now, if that were the case, couldn't it also be the case that people that lived in that World believed the Christianity were true. Um, this is not a properly formed question because it's it, it's an, it's an impossible it's it's an absurd question to answer because the world doesn't exist because it's just a hypothetical situation. It doesn't exist, no, 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 and you're no, not no. affirming it. Just because it's not just because hypothetical doesn't mean you can't answer it. I answer hypotheticals all the time. Okay, ask it again. Okay, so we're imagining that the, the world that Tom uh, described were real. Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. the question was, if it were, if, if the world that Tom imagined were real, couldn't there be people in that world who believed that Christianity were true? Um, well, Tom's world is absurd because he can't, he can't create any um, laws you can't create any solid laws of material or of of nature or of logic. So the answer to your question is maybe yes, maybe no. We wouldn't. I mean, no, 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 no. what I what I say. Sorry, go ahead. Look, uh, as far as I can tell, all that would follow on the arguments that you gave before about Tom's world is that if the world that Tom imagined were real. Mm -hmm. And people wouldn't know whether there were laws about the material. But the they thing about Tom's world, world the material, the thing about Tom's world is it couldn't exist. So while Fine. I can answer the question hypothetically, the answer, the answer that I give you, it has a nominal value because Tom's world could not exist. Yeah, because, but you were able Tom's God. Wait, one sec. Well, sorry, one sec. Tom's world. Sorry, sorry let me uh, just, just, just one sec. Okay, go ahead. And I, okay. Um, it, 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 yeah, so because Tom's, Tom's God's attributes do, are not sufficient in order to ground your metaphysic, nor is it sufficient to falsify the Christian God. Go ahead. I don't care about any of that. I'm asking you, couldn't, if, if the world that Tom envisioned were actual, couldn't it still be the case that there were people in that world who believed all of the things that you believe and said all of the things that you say. Again, I, I don't mind answering your question, but I just want you to understand that the answer to my question has a nominal value. <clears throat> well, do you understand can, why? Can, maybe I can help really just to facilitate. Kason, okay. respectfully, when mm -hmm. I was asking, when I was first telling you about this, right, you were telling me like, okay, well, in that world, you couldn't know things. If you're in that world, you, you would have to like accept that, hey, I might be a brain in a vat. So here you are, you were answering questions like about this world. It's not mm -hmm. true that just because you think that this world is false, that you can't answer questions about like the entailments of that world or what's possible in that world, given the parameters, mm -hmm. right? Now, G Gene is simply asking a question just like what you were positing to me about this mm -hmm. fake worldview, right? You can yeah, understand make, your point. You can make musings about this. Now, all I'm saying, all, all he's asking you is, okay, mm -hmm. 
Now, just the same way you were thinking about, oh, okay, is this world's true? And then let's let's see, you wouldn't know if it's this yes. is a lie. Look, it's just the same way mm -hmm. he's asking you to imagine, could someone that. have a belief that Christianity is true? And I think well, well, clearly Tom, the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Tom, the thing is that I didn't want to just go into reductio ad absurdum. I wanted to actually entertain your question and show you, even within your worldview, that I could defeat your God. But... You know, I, I didn't want it to devolve, but but again, any of my answers or to, to or any of my assertions in your world again would be nominal. Nominal so, meaning what? Nominal, nominal meaning clearly, it would be worthless. It would have no value. It would have almost no value. Man, I think what we've clearly established is that you have no way of distinguishing whether you live in the world that Tom imagined or whether you live. Of course, in I Christian do. World. It's been revealed. Of course, oh. I do. It's been well, revealed. Do you, do you object to that? Do you object to the revelation of God? How do you know that it is? Do you object to... Can you answer my question, please? Do you object to the revelation of God? I mean, I do. I asked you a question. And you can you answer my... I, I, I did answer your Why question. Why should you I maybe, answer you may, your question? Sir? Okay, sir? How, about, how about this, Kason? Kason. I... Hold on. I, hold do on. I no, 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 no. I... Look. This... I am running this with ex exceeding amount of charity towards you in particular. You, right? I have not been obtuse. I have no, 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 no. Rude, look, look. But I'm, I, but I also problem. want to be fair, Kason. So how about this? Yeah, but I, I can't. I, I can't ask a question in retort. I'm not saying I'm that not you can't. Just let me, let me, okay. let me set the stage for All you. Right. All right. Calm look. Down. No problem. Go ahead. Look, you have a question you want answered, and I respect that. And how about this? Mm -hmm. You answer his question, I and then did, we Tom. will then we will press Gene to answer your question. I did answer his Was question. It, now he may he may disagree with my answer. He may not accept it. I only have ten minutes, so we can talk, maybe talk about this another look, time. You, but I did give my answer. You may say it's nominal, meaning it doesn't matter. Let's just say that it matters to Gene. Can you answer the question? It, it wouldn't matter if it. That's not. That's not. That's not what I'm. It doesn't matter whether it matters to Gene or not. I'm answering his question as far well, as me, if if there was have, a if if this God existed, right? And if that world existed, could there be Christians within it that would believe that in, in my Christian God? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's and what question. I'm telling you is that in your world, not only if I answer that question yes or no would would be the same as if I answered a question in your world one plus one is three it would have the same exact truth value. So what I'm telling you is me answering this question has a nominal value because the world is, is fallacious. It, it, it well, doesn't all, stand upon anything solid. First of all, whether a proposition is true or false has nothing to do with whether we know that it's true or false. And for that reason, even if no one in the world that Tom imagined uh, knew anything, it would still be true that one plus one equals two. It doesn't matter. No, whether it no, because there. remember, no, because remember in Tom's world, right? And, and I'm pretty sure he admitted to this. You couldn't have truth because the God is lying. So when you use no, the you laws can't. of logic or the laws of nature to do science, right? Or, or you not, just simply yeah, use your, your five senses. Uh, can I finish? Or you simply Please. use your five senses. You could be in a delusion. The laws of logic you're using could be wrong. In, could be. As, as they comport to exactly they could be so if they could but be not they, is though that's the mistake you made Tom well didn't say in this that the god that the god does lie could doesn't mean he if does they, could. if they could be then you can't have you can't have ontological truth ontological truth cannot be that doesn't false follow, sir. by any means that doesn't okay. follow so can we okay look i said i only have 10 minutes okay yeah. i understand we can right, talk about this another time I understand we have we have a disagreement. Okay, can I answer? Can I ask my question now? I, I want to answer. That's fair. You asked Which was? You asked you me reject uh, the revelation I, of God. You, yeah, that's the question I asked you. And I do. And here is you, why. You reject the revelation of God. Here is why. I reject. I don't. The... I don't really care about why. I want to know your grounds. I think he's answering that case. On, can you give him a chance, please? Okay, go ahead. I reject the Christian revelation because it's indistinguishable from a world in which we couldn't possibly have knowledge by your own, by your own admission. What? What does that mean? Well, as I've already pointed out, as far as I can tell, we can't distinguish the world that Tom imagined from the world that you think we live in. 
for that very How is reason. That? What do you mean? The God in my world is always truth telling. So when I see something, I know it is. So I can do science. No, I can use know. logic. Yeah, but you have no independent means of 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 knowing that that's the case. How what do you follows, know that? What uh, follows? What follows? What he said, on. though. Hold on. I've been very I'm patient. I'm going to be able to ask some questions in this room, or I'm just going to leave. Yeah, go ahead. How? Okay. JJ, how hold on a sec. That? Let me just red how red did, mic how, this how, guy how, who's how. interrupting you, and let me just red mic his. Yep. Rip. Bye sorry, bye, little sorry, boy. Kickson. Well, That's come okay. on, you don't have to twist the knife. Well, I just, it's just funny because Dark says it. I think it's funny. Um, okay, so so can you repeat your last sentence before we got interrupted, please? I think that uh, on the worldview that, that you, um, on the world that you think we live in, mm -hmm. we couldn't have knowledge. And we couldn't How do you have know knowledge. That? Well, because we couldn't distinguish that world from the world that Tom imagined. How do you know that? The you just asserted you just it. you just you just asserted a truth claim from your worldview. Is that correct? I don't assert claims from a worldview. That's not the way. Did this you works. assert, sir, sir? Now you're being evasive. Okay, answer my I'm question. Being evasive. You're being evasive. You're not answering my question. Okay, okay, son, come on. You're... So, either get, so either give me grounds why, why you're not answering my question, no. or, okay, son, or just say okay, I'm not. Son, hang on, you're going to have can you be a little less, like, don't channel Darth so hard. Just well, like... it's very frustrating, and I told look, you, I already told you, I'm a bit of an aggressive person. Look, how about this? Um, what? Okay, Kason, look, I want to talk to you again, right? You have to sure. go, I tell you what, if it's going to get to this point where like, oh, this is just the way I am, I'm aggressive, let's just talk next time. How about that? Okay, no problem, Tom. Okay, nice I'll, give you, I'll, give you the, night, I'll give you the last word, and then you can just go ahead and go sure. to bed. Um, I'm, I, well, I, I, so I don't, I don't like this this structure. I feel like I was dogpiled. I feel like I didn't get a chance to speak. However, I will say, if you were in my territory, it probably would be about the same. So I, ha I guess, in, in a way, I have to respect it. Um, well, we both know it'll be it would be much worse. But um, I think <laughs> I think you probably, probably talked the most out of anyone in this during discussion. But I will, if you want I to, in the last word. I don't No, no, no. You're still going to get it. But, oh, um, I'm asking, okay. would you like to leave an entire room full of atheists with the gospel of Jesus Christ? Um, go read the Bible. Yeah. What do you mean? No, I mean like give us the gospel. Like the whole, like you want to like recite the whole Bible? Like, I don't understand no, give us mean. the good news, man. Jesus. Oh, the good news is that Jesus Christ is God. He came down and died for your sins, and he loves each and every one of you, even in your sinful nature. And if you turn to him and pray for forgiveness and realize that you're damned and you're going to hell without him, um, then you can be saved and you can join us in heaven. That was, I really would like each and every one of you to do that. That was pretty good, but you left... one of you in this room. That's pretty good, but you left out the important part about the resurrection. Next time, I would advise you to, okay. to include I'll that in the it. gospel. But can I any, get my last word? Please? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I want to say, Tom, it was nice meeting you. I, I really disagree with your worldview and with the way that you presented your information today. Um, I don't think it was sufficient to, to disprove the Christian God. Obviously, we're not going to agree on that, but either way, it was nice to speak with you, Tom. Okay. Have a good night, guys. Have a good night. All right, let me let this animal out of the cage. God. Please, I'm the farthest thing from an animal. Uh, I wish you would have pointed out that what follows from what he said is that he's implying that he can't be mistaken or wrong about anything. <laughs>